Now, the light's coming from uh, my right-hand side, and so I want to indicate sort of briefly some of the shadows that we're going to see on this distant uh, hillside. These are all trees that we're seeing back here, but the side of the trees that will be in shadow will be the left side because the light's coming from the right. And we want to have a general tone of shadow on this side because there's a, this whole um, mountain or hill is actually a cone. So we're going to see this shape. You see this shape here? That's a triangle, and that helps to imply that this is a cone-shaped hill. Now we'll put some over here, but not nearly as many as we put on the other side. Now I also want to indicate the placement of some of my reflections of some of these lighter trees back in here. These lighter trees, being lighter than the reflecting surface, will show up in the reflection. So now I'm going to make a line straight down here, at least in my imagination. And along about here, I'm going to see these trees reflecting. So along in here, we're going to see a light green reflection. And I think we'll make so this little indentation. You see this here? We want to indicate that below it, so I'm going to calculate where that is. And, and so there's that indentation. And then we move into these trees, and that comes out here, and so on. Now, that's enough for me to begin the painting. As before, we add the color to the light value. So I've got some white here, and a little touch, just a touch of the stalo blue is all I'm going to need, because it's a very strong dye. OK, now I'm going to make a blend out of this. So I need two values, at least. Okay, so I'm going to lay this on. And once again, I'm, I'm making the paint go every which direction as I apply it. This makes for a better uh, tone, a more even tone. You don't have any of those little areas that I think of as dandruff. When you, when you miss a spot in the paint. So that if the canvas is showing through, I don't like that. Now here I'm trying to paint sort of in between these branches. So I'm going to make it even lighter as it gets down to the near the horizon. This will indicate a degree of haze. So now I'm moving to my lighter version of the same color. And I'm going to block that in right beneath that. OK, now up here you can see where the, uh, the burnt umber is showing through, which is good. So we can still see where the drawing is in spite of having painted right on top of it. And this is another advantage of burnt umber. It, it dries fast enough that we don't have to worry about it uh, combining too much with the paint. Here I've got it too thick, and it uh, is combining a little bit. But we're going to cover that up, so that's not a big deal. OK, so here I am combing out these brush strokes. All the brush strokes going in the same direction will create an even tone for me. 